my phone is just literally a million pictures of my cat from every angle and every oh, okay do you want to be in the video this is going to be a video all about you and why you're so special he smells so so good I've never known a cat to smell so good I just love the smell of him so I thought I would tell you the story about how I acquired a cat because in the last vlog I did I just showed you my new cat and I never explained how we got him because it definitely wasn't planned <laughs> Mowgli <laughs> he, he's been asleep and he, cho he chooses when I'm recording to start making noise and playing so yeah me and Jordan have a 15 week old black kitten named Mowgli he's amazing I absolutely love him but it wasn't planned um, we literally got a new place to live and a kitten in the space of like three days it was ridiculous so Jordan's mum was just babysitting at home um, with Betsy who is Jordan's three-year-old niece and they were just in the garden um, and Betsy said Nanny I can hear someone crying who's crying Jordan's mum were like what so then they had a look round and they found Mowgli just this little tiny kitten in this bush just crying um so they brought brought him inside and he was like like it's horrible but he was half dead basically he was just like this little limp kitten so they f tried to feed him and and stuff and keep him warm and stuff because i think he was cold um i think he was really dehydrated as well jordan like got really upset he thought this cat's gonna die there's no way this cat's gonna live so they kept feeding him um, they gave him some water in a syringe. I can't even say that. Sh syringe, you know the. I can't say that word. Um, and yeah, he, he was all right. He just he slowly started getting some energy, and it was a few days before before he was fully himself. I never saw him at his worst. I only saw him when he was better. He was this tiny little, literally this big, this tiny little kitten, and he must have eaten around <laughs> eight poaches of kitten food over like two days so he must have been starving so me and Jordan were like right we've got to find out who this kitten belongs to or you know get the cat's protection to pick him up or whatever Jordan's mum doesn't want didn't want to keep him because she's had so many cats in the past and she gets really upset when when they die seriously <laughs> yeah she gets really sad when they die and stuff so she didn't want a, another cat at this point I think we just viewed this place where I live now and we hadn't fully decided whether we were moving in or not. Or did we view it first? I really can't remember. I really can't remember which order it, it but it was like within a few days anyway. So we decided to say yeah to, to this place. And then we were sort of like, we, we, could, we could keep this cat, like we could. I can remember I'd finished work and it was around midnight. I got him from work and the second that I saw him for the first time, I was like, <sighs> I need to keep him. I just instantly fell in love with him. Okay, I've um, changed set up because look who's joined us. He's grown so much. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, you want to play, do you? Ah! <laughs> Put your butt away. Boy. So as long as I can remember I've always wanted a male black cat just so I can call him Mowgli and put a red collar on It's just always been a thing that I've wanted so it just felt like it was meant to be I don't know I know that sounds cheesy, but Jordan calls him Mo for short. I'm like stop calling him Mo. He's Mowgli. He's Mowgli 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 He's so calm and chilled out. He just he sleeps on the bed with us every single night and sleeps on the couch with us. He's just, I, I just love him. I just love him so much. We did find out where he came from. Um, there's a flat behind Jordan's house. Um, the guy had had a cat who'd had kittens and he couldn't afford them. So he just, he didn't throw them out, I don't think, 
but well he said he didn't but he kind of let him escape I don't know it's I don't know I don't know the guy so I can't really explain so the mum cat um found its way to Jordan's house I guess he could smell his baby I don't know oh hello so we let her in um and she was really thin and bony and just seemed exhausted and just bothered and fussed and like just not happy basically so we fed her she was like non-stop cuddling with Mowgli and um Mowgli was nursing off her as well and drinking milk from her teats and it was just the most adorable thing ever it was so cute I was like oh, we're gonna have to keep both of these cats <laughs> um but then Jordan's mum went round and said look the, the mother cat is at our house now so he came round to pick up the cat and he like picked up Mowgli and was like oh I can't afford these cats oh, no, no, no. and Jordan's mum was like well we can keep the black one if you want and he went all right then and just like tossed tossed him to us we were like it's official he's ours <laughs> so then we got in contact with cats protection at first because we thought he just it was just a stray cat so we took him to the vets to get deflead, dewormed and all that stuff and they do that for free which is really nice if you take a cat in off the street. I think they also have helped the guy with the other kittens because there's obviously more than one. He's just been so good, he uses his litter tray, he eats, he's just brilliant, he's just no trouble at all. He's a little bugger but <laughs> like he start, he just come, comes alive at one in the morning and starts frigging making loads of noise and running around the house but he's amazing. We haven't decided whether we're gonna let him out because we live right near a main road but I I refuse to keep a cat in if a cat wants to go out then I just think it's cruel keeping cats in sorry I know that's like controversial people some people have house cats which is fine if you've got a house cat and your cat chooses to not go out that's fine but if a cat is like scratching at a door and wants to go out I just think it's cruel not letting him out so he showed a few signs of wanting to go out like smelling around the doors and like acting really curious like he wants to go out but every time we take him out in our arms he's a bit like scared so we've, we've not decided what we're going to do yet we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but yeah i just thought i'd tell you the story because i don't know maybe some people were interested maybe some people are not um so sorry if it was a bit boring but i just wanted to explain how we got him and i love him so much let me go get him come here He's grown a lot, he was so, so tiny. He's still tiny, he's a kitten, but he was so, so small when we first got him. <sighs> Whoa. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye.